Uh, hey everyone, we're back. Uh, we're gonna shift, we're still with Dusty, but we're gonna shift from silver to gold. That's not a bad pivot right now. This is a fun conversation. And we're gonna talk about Orbeck Gold. Uh, this is a newer name you're gonna see, but it comes out of Blue Thunder. I don't wanna steal all the thunder from Dusty here, but tell us about Orbeck, what the plan is here, and what was this transition? Okay, well, first of all, again, thanks for, oh, no, th of thanks for still having me after the last <laughs> interview. And it, it is indeed fun to pivot from, from silver, silver to gold. In many ways, that sums up 49 years of my career, <laughs> <laughs> pivoting back and forth. <laughs> yeah, Orbeck, most people will remember us as Blue Thunder Mining, um, same company. We changed the name to Orbeck at the beginning of this year to reflect a couple of things. I Am Gold became a significant shareholder in our last private placement. They now own close to 15% of us. Okay. Um, we're still working in Quebec on yep. the Moose project, but we decided to focus in Quebec. And in, in keeping with that focus, we've moved our office to Brassard. We're actually in, in the same office space as I Am Gold. Um, and we felt that Orbec was, was a name better suited for a Quebec-centric company. Our asset is the Moose Project. It's a very large land package in the Shibugamo area of Quebec, 25,000 hectares. Yeah. It, it's not always, you, you know, you look at things on a map and go, oh, okay, that, that looks like a nice land position. It takes something like 12 minutes to fly over our land package. I didn't fully appreciate how big it is yes. until the first time I went there a couple of years ago. Um, what makes it interesting to an exploration geologist like myself is it's, it's always location and geologic setting. We're adjacent to and on the same geologic trend as, as I Am Gold's Nelligan deposit. As I'm sure you know, I Am Gold bought out Vanstar a few months ago. Nelligan is now, uh, if one were to add indicated to inferred, which of course one never does, but if one did, it would be north of 5 million ounce. It's a multi-million ounce deposit uh, yes. anyway, and growing. We're also adjacent to, and on the same geologic trend as Am Gold's Monster Lake, which is somewhat smaller, but phenomenally high grade. It's something like 12 or 13 grams per ton. There are uh, competitor companies with other very nice deposits. Yes. Uh, Joe Filbert, uh, Joe Mon Filbert. There, there's some very nice deposits in the area. I think that we're on the best part of the trend where we're the where two mineralized trends intersect yeah. and where one of them takes a major bend. And it's 49 years of gold exploration. The best the best place to look is on a structure. Yes. The absolute best place to look is where that structure bends. Um, the proximity to Nelligan. I had the very good fortune early in my career to be mentored by and become friends with Dave Lowell. Dave Lowell always used to say, if you want to find a mine, the best way to find it is find another mine and then start drilling holes near it. <laughs> yeah, so we, yeah. we, we fit all of these criteria. On top of that, if one extends the Nelligan structure onto our land, we now, I guess, somewhat unimaginatively call this the Nelligan Corridor, yeah. there's some absolutely mind-blowing geochemical anomalies, it's, it's golden till anomalies, uh, that are in some cases higher than 20 grams per ton in glacial sediment. All right. Even more significant than that. These are some of the highest values ever recorded in Quebec, by the way. Yes. Um, but in addition to, to that numerical value, what's more significant is that the gold grains, we can look at them under a microscope, they're angular, they're pristine, so they haven't traveled very far. Okay, interesting, yes. And these are sitting, in some cases, on top of or near IP anomalies. Yes. Um, so we, we think we have a, it's a beautiful target there. When I had just joined what was then Blue Thunder two years ago, we tried to drill two holes at a target there. It's an area called Lac Bernard. Um, we had drilling difficulties just with rock conditions, uh, it, inclement weather, and frankly, a drilling company that I'll never hire again. Okay, yeah. And we didn't get to target depth, but we intersected sulfides, sericide alteration, you know, and forgive me for waxing geologic, but it's the same alteration that is found at Nelligan. Okay, yes. And this further confirmed our idea that we have Nelligan targets there. 
Now, one of the things, the great thing that I inherited when I joined Blue Thunder was several years worth of work. My predecessors had spent close to eight and a half million dollars on work, but no one had had the time or the opportunity to really synthesize the data, yes. reflect on it, and drill. I'm, I'm a big believer in drilling, but I believe in using the drill rig like a sniper's rifle, not like a shotgun. So what I've been doing um, with, I think, some of the best geologic consultants in Quebec is analyzing the data, sifting through it, and picking targets. Meanwhile, um, the association with IM Gold is invaluable to us. You know, yes, they participated in the financing. The money was very helpful and meant a great deal to us, but much more than the money was the technical collaboration. Yes, yes. Yeah. Having a partner like that where uh, they also believe in what you're doing and that you can kind of just even bounce ideas back and forth. With. Yeah, exactly. And we not only bounce ideas, we have a formal technical committee, yeah. which is their exploration team, which I would argue is the best in Quebec. Um, we meet regularly, they sign off on our exploration plans, and what we're doing is methodically preparing to identify and define very high quality drill targets. We've done some geologic mapping in the field this year. I did much of it personally. Uh, we'll also be, we'll be doing a bit more till sampling and some geophysics with the idea of defining targets that, that we'll drill this winter. See, that's it's important too because I, I always kind of joke that I'm not the most patient person, probably like most retail investors, and they're always like, just drill and give me results. Just drill right. and give me results. And all of the great companies and great teams that have a strong thesis are like, listen, we're excited too. But the longer we spend back here and we do all the work leading up to that, like that drill, that final precision moment, the better. Like that's that's a, a good strategy. It's not what any retail person wants to hear because they want the news. But you know, if we if we have to be a bit more patient, often we're rewarded for that hard work before and then then finding precisely. Yeah, it's necessary. And I say I'm a big believer in drilling. Again, as I said, Dave Lowell taught me a lot of things. One of the things he taught me was that an ideal exploration program should have sixty to sixty five percent as direct drilling budget. But you know, it's as they say in England, horses for courses. It depends what one is looking for. Okay. If one is looking for a porphyry target, which is a very large footprint, I drill early because if I'm anywhere near the target, I'll get some alteration that will help me vector in yes. to where I'm going. Sure. Um, but the sheer hosted abitibi type, T yeah. one can drill 10 meters away from an ore chute and get nothing you get nothing and it's that close yeah yes. and so that that's why for this type of target i'm a bit more patient i force myself to be yeah. patient and uh, again not to overuse a metaphor but uh, in this environment a drill rig is is best viewed as a sniper's rifle rather than anything else and so and you're drilling right now no no you're not drilling right now no, okay. uh, right now we're doing office work and compiling we have tenders out for geophysical work okay good okay and then the idea is to be drilling this winter this winter because i always want to know like the sense of what's the urgency what when should people be watching the news for any milestones so that they go maybe it's an entry point maybe i should be looking now what what are some of the things uh, I would argue to come in now, we're, yeah. we're quite low right yes, now, yes, uh, yeah. to, to, to put it mildly. While we won't have drill results coming out for several months, we will have the results of the other work we've been doing, yes. uh, which I think will, will, be a, 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 will be some quite interesting catalysts as the target picture starts coming together. So I would, I would encourage you to, to come in early. Excellent. And listen, you're in the right zone. Uh, great partner. Uh, th that's not easy to find as well when you have great partners uh, doing the work right now. So take a look at Orbit Gold. This is a very interesting story developing. Thanks so much again for, for informing oh, thank us. Thank you. Thank you very much for All your time. Thanks so much.